Hello Lolas. So welcome back to my channel guys. Um, this is part two. Um, this is a little bit of clarification and a little bit of extension to uh, go a little bit further in my video before um, where I was talking about, you know, finding a baby that's cuddly. Um, I want to first off say that respectfully, I don't really care what you do with your money. You can take your money and set it on fire if you want. You can take your whole life savings and flush it down the toilet if you want. That's that's your money, your life. It's not going to affect me one way or another. Rather you spend it in a way that I see is beneficial or, you know, or if you just blow it. Because either way it go, it's not going to benefit me. Unless you're spending it with me, then okay, maybe so. <laughs> but um, nevertheless, um, I respectfully do not care what you do with your money, what your life, none of that. I can only control me. And that's it. That's it. I can't even control um, people that I love. I can't even control my kids. But anyway, <laughs> not to go into being a mother hen. Um... I just wanted to say, first of all, my video was to help those who were trying to figure out how to shop for a silicone baby that they want to be cuddly if cuddle if the cuddle factor means a lot to them um, that are not privy to seeing it in person first or you know have had the experience of the silicone medium itself um, to actually even get an idea of what they're looking at, you know. Um, so for those that found it helpful, I truly appreciate you. For those that sat and watched with, you know, judging eyes to find something or to critique something or to aha moment or something, then, you know, that's your thing. Um, I do not make videos to say my way is the best way. My preference, my opinion is fact. Um, if you don't like soft silicone because you don't feel comfortable with soft silicone, that's perfectly okay. I am not the one that's going to tell you that the value of your doll is less than because of the level of softness. Because there may be other like-minded people that prefer a firmer silicone and are willing to pay more for firmer silicone than I am. Um, in my today's time and experience, I will not spend top dollar on a firmer silicone. Um, and I'll tell you exactly why. Um, and I don't sugarcoat things. And if you don't like what I have to say, then that's too bad for you. But I don't buy them because I sell my babies often and on second market there's more people that's looking for a soft silicone than a firm. Um, the minute you say Ecoflex 20, Ecoflex 30, um, any of that, you already dropped your pool down of getting that doll sold by half or more than half actually. Um, people can yay, 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 and nay, 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 but if you look at the stats and you see what's selling, I can guarantee you equal Ecoflex 50 is not it. Um, but if it's a sculpt that is beautiful and amazing and it's got, you know, whatever feature or it's a certain size or, you know, buy a certain sculptor or buy a certain artist or have a certain look and people really want it it will sell and people will buy it um so i'm not saying that it is impossible i'm saying that that's not the likelihood and what's the popular and in demand and as i stated before i don't always go by what's popular and what's in demand but this is my personal opinion and that's that's all it is i'm not trying to tell nobody that what i have is better than i have some ugly ass babies up in here let me tell you, <laughs> I do, and I have some cute ones, but I can, I can assure you, 
that whatever they are, they are something that I genuinely like and that I chose and that I picked for me. So I'm going to say this one more time in this video. And this is the last time I'm going to say it. I respectfully do not care what you do with your money, with your collection, with your life. I do not care. I wish everybody peace and prosperity, happiness and long longevity in life. I wish that on you. But beyond that, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever it takes for you to get to that point of happiness and peace, peace be with you. You know what I mean? Um, I, first of all, let me also say and clarify, Phoebe is a soft silicone blend. She may be a fluke that was in the collection, uh, the edition of being painted, I mean poured, that is softer or maybe, you know, just soft or the awake edition. Anyway, I feel like the awake edition was softer than the sleep edition anyway. The sleep edition came out first. Um, Claire was just starting to really give us super soft in her kit, um, which is a total different formula. We already done said that from her actual doll edition. Um, they are not marshmallow blend, and a lot of people call marshmallow when it's super soft. Marshmallow to me and memory foam is like where it have that real slow rise. The kits do not do that. Um, so that's not what I'm saying, but I feel like the wake additions were a tad bit softer than the sleep. Um, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite. Um, if I had to rebuy her again, I would rebuy her in the same exact silicone but that's my personal preference um i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab my baby um i couldn't think of his name just then that's why i said my baby um i'm gonna grab vegas <laughs> so you guys can see what he looks like in, in my arms let me do that um but you know, I got away from doing videos where I do comparisons and I share my opinion on the differences in silicone and stuff like that out in the gym pop and, and, and leave that to my paid channel membership. Um, but even I know, even in my paid channel membership, there's going to be people that's in there that is just in there to see, to find a flaw in me because deep down for whatever reason, they don't really like me and that's okay. I'm I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I just don't like to, you know, for the narrative to be put out that I'm trying to shade anyone or make people feel less than because that is not my thing. I am the last person to do anything like that. I'm a very humble individual because I know, <laughs> I know when you think you're above, you can get knocked down two, two notches lower. Okay, life life has taught me that. So I, I will not do that. Not intentionally anyway. Um, so this is Vegas in my arms. And as you can see, he still has a dangle. He has elbow armatures as well. It's almost something that I almost always have gotten with my babies. Um, and he curls in really nicely. Um, I'm going to show you his bend. Of course, his head falls back as well. Um, and just for the record, I'm not afraid of their head falling off. <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable doing that with them. But as you can see, he does have a nice bend in his uh, in his core, and he has a drinking wet as well. He bends <clears throat> not as much as Phoebe, but he bends. His band is more uh, comparable to my Ziggy. Um, Ziggy has a jelly belly core, so that allows him to have a little, even, you know, a little flex in his stomach versus, um, and then his limbs are not as soft as his core, if that makes sense. Um, Phoebe does not have a jelly belly. Um, Claire Tuttle does not put jelly bellies in her kits, 
whatsoever, as far as I know. Maybe for her personal collection, I don't know. But for what I've seen out that's been put out on the market, that's not a thing. Um, now, a lot of people are doing aftermarket products and they're adding squishy tummies to kits and stuff by different sculptors and pourers and stuff like that. But coming directly from her, no. And a Phoebe came directly from her and uh, as far as a blank as a blank kit and she doesn't have a squishy tummy at all. She's just poured soft all the way through. Um, but yes, I, I still love to hold him just as much as I do uh, Phoebe. But I will say, well, I'm going to say yes, just as much. But Phoebe definitely um, curls in more and she's she's definitely more of a like really bendy baby um and that's something I like and like I said in another video I'm not I'm not gonna keep repeating that because I've already told you guys that's my preference um oh, I got Phoebe dressed the other day so I'm gonna pick her up again just so you guys well what happened to my light okay it's coming in all right so this is phoebe and you can see you know she's like much more dangly and i love her in pants and sleepers and all that stuff because she that's when she feels super super cuddly and phoebe is a fan favorite um I was talking to um, one of the uh, people in the community and I was telling her and see Phoebe will that's a total Ben <laughs> um and I was telling them that as much as I love Phoebe Phoebe is one of the first babies I painted and I is learned so much with her um Phoebe has a beautiful skin tone that most people love um but Phoebe is not my best painted baby at this point. Um, I've grown a lot past where I was with Phoebe. Um, her style of painting, maybe, you know, maybe people cup of tea more. Because um, she doesn't have the same amount of like modeling or the same style of modeling. But she's just not... Um, and she still, you know, she looks like she looks on camera, but she does not my, um, my, my work has changed a lot. Um, I think, I feel like my skin tones have gotten more realistic to the natural eye, if that makes sense. Like they're more believable now than, um, Phoebe would be. Now, don't get me wrong. If I push her in the stroller and from off afar, someone would look at her and they would, they would probably still think that she was realistic but I think you can get right up right up on like Ziggy or um Ayani other than the fact that her mouth was wide open and I feel like people would be more food directly up on them like this than Phoebe but I could be wrong um and maybe because her eyes is awake too um but yeah, so, and I supposed to grow. <laughs> That's, I mean, we supposed to grow, we supposed to change, we supposed to evolve. Um, if I was still, if I, if, if I said that, you know, she was the same as what I'm painting today, then that would, that would speak volume about me and, and, you know, if I've not grown and stuff. Um, and that's not me, like I said, being... Um, arrogant or cocky or any of that it's just me being honest and truthful um, a lot of people boost up their work or you know talk up their work and make themselves be bigger than what they are um, I don't want to do that because the reality of it all is going to come um, if you you know, if I come on here and say, oh, yeah, my babies are flawless. I never make mistakes. They have the best this and the best that. And I, I'm the best at this and I'm the best at that and blah, 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 blah. And then you buy one of my babies and it's like, this is not the best at this. I mean, you know, a lot of my mommies do 
really, really love their babies. And they do feel like I do, you know, really good. Um, that's their words and their opinions. But, you know, that's not going to be everybody's opinion of the world. <laughs> um, so, you know, some people, you know, where we might be like, oh, that baby looks, you know, gray. Or that baby looks this or that. Some people like that. Some people think that's more realistic. And maybe it is, you know, for the babies that they've been around or seen or, you know, encountered. Um, so, I'm learning to just kind of, you know, take a step back. Um, and I just let people do their thing. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that um you know continue to be great um if you guys enjoy these type videos let me know in the comment section um i may or may not continue to put one out here and there here but i will continue to make videos and talk about my opinions and different things in the chatter box um because i feel like most people that you know sign up and pay four dollars and 99 cents a month um, actually have, you know, a level of respect for me and my opinion and they want to hear my thoughts, um, on a deeper level than just, this is the outfit of the day. Um, you know, this sculpt just came out, look at this, look at that type thing. Um, so I feel a little bit more comfortable sharing in there. Um, although, you know, like I said, people can always sign up take what I say in there, pull it out, put it, you know, make a whole nother thing about it. But at the same time, I feel like for the most part, people come in there because they are true, you know, VIP Lola's. And um, even if you don't agree with me 100% of the time, apparently you agree with me enough to, you know, sign up or, you know, try to support my channel. Um, you, we would be weird if we agreed with people 100% of the time like and when I say I can I have people that I agree with like 90% of the time but there's always going to be that 10% in there somewhere where baby no that ain't it you nope you way off or you might be just a little off okay I can agree with a part of that but not all of that you know it's you know so if you it's a yeah uh-huh 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 uh -huh. Baby, I'm going to need you to think. I'm going to need you to listen, baby. I'm going to need you. I, uh, I actually, when when somebody, <laughs> you know, and I'm not saying be combative and that we got to be arguing in the public or, you know, if we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and you say, well, I don't know, you know, I feel like this. And don't get me wrong. I be like, Ugh, why can't they just agree? You know what I mean? But at the same time, I can respect that versus somebody that's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I've said this before and then I've had people that like just look for stuff to disagree with me. I don't want you to be always disagreeing with me because baby, if you disagree with me 90% of the time, then baby, baby, you need not to be following me. Like don't, don't do that. Like, you know, but I'm just saying people that are genuine and just authentically themselves and just be like, you know, if they don't agree or they agree or whatever but if somebody just constantly agree with everything I say or um you know I, I'm gonna be like I don't know I maybe I'm just that good but I don't think so <laughs> so I know I know a lot of people have there have been times in my journey throughout YouTube where people have been like oh god she's being so extra I'm like secondhand embarrassment you know what I mean but and then there's other times where they're like, ah, go girl, you tell them. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, it's okay to be you. It's okay to disagree. It's okay to agree. But just, you know, when it comes to me, I like to get, I like to put it out there for everyone to see. That's why I don't talk to many people on a personal basis, like in a chat or just like messing back and forth. I've done that over time. It's always came back to burn me. If you want to have a conversation with me, I'm going to do it through my videos. Because when I say what I say, 
I'm saying it publicly so everybody see it. There's no whispers and, and wonders about what I have to say. You know, if I have had a quiet conversation with you, then in that moment, I trusted you. Now, that can change from minute to minute. Um, there are times where I trust people and then they show me a little peek of who they really are or show a sign of messiness to them. And I'm just like, ah! <laughs> okay, I've already said too much. We done here. You know what I mean? But I'm always try to keep it professional. I'm always try to keep it cordial. I'm always try to keep it cute. Because, again, this is my hobby, but also I make money off of it. So I have to keep a balance. So a lot of people, sometimes my close friends in the community that I talk to be like, oh, I would have, you know, said blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yes, but you have a separate job. <laughs> this is also my job. I cannot just say that. And that's the hardest part about me. I promise y'all is selling and stuff like that because... There are times where people say things to me that is like so cutthroat or cold or backhanded compliments or, um, you know, little shade stuff. And I want to come back so strong. But sometimes they mess around and find out. And then that's when everybody be up on the I hate, they join the I hate serenity band. Um, but I try to, you know, just let stuff go but i just wanted to put this video out there like i said just to let you guys know i am not trying to tell you what to do i was just giving my opinion and just talking about it because i talked to a couple people and people are always messaging me i'm always getting emails um and inboxes on all my different platforms asking me what do i think about this or um, do is this silicone soft or you think this one would be cuddly or this that and other and it's so cuddle factor seemed like it's a big deal so i said okay well i'll make a video and talk about it as a whole um and that just went i mean for the most part everybody was good with it but there you know sometimes you know people just take you know i could talk about kindness giving caring love peace happiness in the whole video and i can say one little thing about something like i hate bubble gum and out of the whole video that's the only thing people heard she came on there and she talked about how she hate that bubble gum I, how can she hate bubble gum like everybody love bubble gum can she probably just saying it because she don't know how to blow it yeah, she probably don't know how to make bubbles. That's why she's saying that. <laughs> like, 20 minutes I talked about peace, happiness, and love. Two seconds I said I hate bubble gum. And that's what you got out the whole video. I don't know. I, I, listen, I can't fix it for you. You know what I mean? I can't control the way you perceive me. I can't, I can't control your perception of me. I can only control me and what I say. And that's that. So that's my last time. If I do another video, y'all can take it how y'all want to take it. Um, you can do you. I'm going to do me. If you don't like me, then don't do me. That's my new saying. Listen, you do you. I'm going to do me. If you don't like me, then don't do me. Okay? Like. <laughs> hey, that's what y'all supposed to do with the little hand, Jessica. This is why I don't ever show my face on, <laughs> on videos because I don't got good taste. Like, no, no, she said, no, she, she said that she said that she hates bubblegum. Yeah, that's what she said. 